The words off the bone conjure up images in my head of things like a gigantic, ridiculous, juicy steak served at an old school Chicago institution. And clearly Beth, Kerry and Wayne's all feel the same way because they sent me to Oak Forest and Jack Gibbons. Are you the valet? No. No? Good. You can pop, <laughs> pop me for free then. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> Chicago, you don't get to be nearly 100 years old in any trade, let alone the restaurant right. business, without doing something right. This place, when it opened in 1922, was actually a speakeasy where the politicians, the judges during Prohibition, would come here and drink and gamble and have a great time. There must be a legendary figure that stepped through this door at some point in Chicago. There was the original Mayor Daley. For a place to be in business for almost 100 years, I mean, that says a lot. It's our Off the Bone episode. Give me something special. Give me a birthday cake size steak to enjoy. What do we got? I think we need to grab that 38 ounce porterhouse. Now you're talking, carry on. Some mushroom caps to go with it on the side. I like. A great bottle of wine. Give me more. And we are just gonna enjoy the company of everybody here. This I can get behind. I'm having images in my head of that ridiculous sounding steak. How big is it again, Sagan? 38 ounces. I just need a bib, I can tackle it. You can take that on? Absolutely. You just grab it by the yep. bottom and just, Absolutely. like you're wrestling? Yep. And this place feels like home, so you don't mind picking the bone up and eating it. This is our loin, and we need to cut our porterhouse from here. Is it just porterhouse and loin? What else do you get We here? got porterhouse, T-bones, and a strip steak over here. There's a good amount of expensive um, steak oh, in here. It's pretty good amount. No pressure. Watch your hands. Hey, look, cut hands makes for good TV. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You got one more, try it. So I made something for the first time in my life. Can we just be proud for a second? Just smile. All right, I'm hungry, let's go upstairs. <laughs> I'll see you very soon. We're gonna make some mushrooms. We're stuffing these bad boys, right? Yes. This is tough for me, you know why? Because all I can smell is the porterhouse cooking. Give me a sec, one sec, one second. Okay, what do, we, what do we got in here? We got a sausages. Bacon bits? Bacon bits. Bacon makes everything taste better. Yeah. And the blue cheese. Moldy cheese makes everything taste better. Oh my god, the best. Breadcrumb. Breadcrumbs are just breadcrumbs, kids. And you got a Parmesan cheese. Now you can add the onions over there. We're going to the mixer? We're going to the mixer now. A scoop? Yes, scoop. A pretty heavy, big scoop. Don't be afraid. I'm not afraid. Don't Oscar. be afraid. Tonight we eat like kings. Oh my God. Well, you are the king already. You know? My All throne right? is ready. Thank you, my friends. Anytime. Hail to the king. What is it about meat that comes on bones that people find appealing? Uh, well, the bone itself gives the meat great taste. Yeah. I wish I was smart enough to tell you that. I just yeah. like it. Me and my friend fight over the bone sometimes. The bone gives the steak that flavor. We're finally here, I'm sitting down. Wait till you taste it. Clink me. Cheers. That is so good. Fat and bone adds flavor to me. Correct. The other part of this is there is no seasoning. There's no salt and pepper on there to disguise anything. It's just the steak. It is. It's you don't need to do anything to it. As the food Nothing gods intended. It. It's all about the preparation all about the way it's aged, which is our secret. I've been so distracted with her beauty, completely forgot about the mushroom caps. Mushroom caps are incredible. Stupid good. I think you should wash it down with a porterhouse. That is a smart idea. The smartest thing I'm gonna do tonight is stop talking and just eat.